flow into their interview in July 26th. And do you think AI is good or bad? I mean, it could be good in some ways, but I, I think they use AI to like track the rooms, like skip, vape, etc. In 2030, I think it'll still be around, just like way more advanced than now. For the most part, yeah, like y'all is on a computer, laptop, phone, any device, I think it does. today I'm here with Boston Guru Girl. In your opinion, do you think AI is good or bad? I think it's good because, uh, you know, Google is like the smartest thing ever. And, like, it gives you all the answers and it like shows you all the pictures and it just like teaches you and stuff and it could like get you a degree. In your opinion, do you think ChatGPT is good? Um, yes, because it writes stuff for you and doesn't make you think a lot and it can like get you A's in, in class. How do you think and why do you think Madison uses AI? Um, I think they use it because it just helps with your everyday life and it makes everything easier, like calculators and stuff, like it helps you with math and e-hall pass. It like makes it easier to make a pass to go to the restroom and we use like cameras and stuff for like seeing what we're doing and like if we do anything bad like we can catch someone like ditching or something and yeah i will be in 2030. um i think honestly it's gonna like take over everything we can be like robots and stuff and it's gonna like take all of our jobs and everyone's gonna be broke and we're gonna be on the streets and we're gonna be like in jail and stuff because of those robots and they're just gonna take over our lives. Do you think AI controls your life? Yeah, for example, if you get a like on TikTok, it like triggers the dopamine and like it just, every day, it just makes you get on TikTok and you just like kind of get addicted to it and you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Uh, Mr. Garcia? Uh, question one, is AI good or bad? Um, well, I think it's, it's a new technology, right? So we don't know exactly how it's gonna play out. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't start to kind of rule our lives like our phones do, yeah. so we'll see. Uh, question two, if you use chat GPT your whole life, where do you think it would be? Well, so chat GPT is kind of a newer technology too in the last few years, and um, I haven't really dabbled with it much. I know students are starting to use it to like write essays and things like that, so I'm hoping that we can uh, so I'm hoping that we can kind of like figure out a program or two, but like, I, I still think it's important for kids to be able to like, be creative, and if you're using technology to like write everything for you, you're limiting like your ability to be creative and how much thought you have in a certain point in your life. Um, question three, do you think AI rules our lives? Um, not yet, but what I've started to notice is that my you know, social media on our phones and things like that are, you know, so like, um, if you go to your phone and you look up like how many hours were spent, because it gives you like a breakdown each day on like how much time is being spent on certain apps, I think that could be like, if you look at that and you're like, oh, I spent four hours, right. that's a lot of time in a day. Yeah. And 24 hours and you're sleeping for like eight, that's half of your sleep time is wasted. Um, why do you think Madison uses AI? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. Personally, like, who's been using AI? I don't know if it's used in a lot of classes. Um, I don't think that we, like, this technology is so fast and we're just trying to keep up with a lot of it that, like, I don't know if we're fully caught up with yeah, we're gonna have to like come back you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, for five, where do you think AI would be in twenty thirty? <laughs> That's a, like in twenty years? Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's like where it is now and just kinda like at the beginning stage. I don't I hope it's not like, you know, some sort of sci fi movie where like robots and terminators take right. it over. That would suck. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we still have our brains and we can still do and do things. Thank you for that interview. Yeah.